アンシーン64プレゼント Warren Spector entered the video game business in 1989 when he joined Origin, co producing Ultima 6 and Wing Commander, as well as producing System Shock and many other classic RPGs. He then moved to Looking Glass Studios and worked for a year on Thief, the Dark Project. In 1997, Spectre received a call from John Romero that led to the start of the new Ion Storm Austin team and the conception of another classic title, Deus Ex. After several years with Ion Storm, Warren Spectre left and in March 2005 officially announced his new company, Junction Point Studios, a team named after a cancelled online RPG he was working on during his last months at Looking Glass. Spectre founded Junction Point Studios with the help of another former employee of Looking Glass and Ion Storm, Art Min, who worked on System Shock and later joined Valve Software, where he managed the acquisition of the Counter Strike IP. During the early days of Junction Point, Spectre and Min conceived a few original games to pitch to different publishers. One of these pitches was titled Sleeping Giants, an ambitious open world RPG in the vein of The Elder Scrolls Skyrim, set in a fantasy universe originally proposed for DC Comics by Spectre and his wife. Their main objective was to create a fantasy game that melded the best elements of some of the most successful and innovative games at the time. Imagine the ethical choices of Fable or Knights of the Old Republic combined with the freeform gameplay of Deus Ex and Grand Theft Auto, with a pinch of the immersion and wonder from Thief or Ultima Underworld. With Sleeping Giants, Junction Point's goal was to hit the heart of the Bioware and Blizzard audiences, taking inspiration from the Diablo, Neverwinter Nights, and Baldur's Gate series, but in a fully 3D open world. By looking at what remains from the game today, we can say it looks a lot like Dragon's Dogma or Skyrim, but Sleeping Giants was in development more than five years before Bethesda's popular action RPG was released, before even Oblivion had been published. Sleeping Giants could have been a revolutionary RPG for its time, if it had been completed. The project's potential did not go unnoticed by publishers, and soon Junction Point signed a deal with Majesco Entertainment, at a time when the company was trying to break into the AAA market with ambitious projects like Advent Rising and Psychonauts. Junction Point Studios' plan was to develop the game on PC, along with the two as yet unreleased next gen platforms PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Dragons would have had a major role in Sleeping Giant's lore, and Junction Point took notes from other dragon focused games such as Draken. Panzer Dragoon, and the Breath of Fire series. Players could become a slayer of dragons or a dragon savior, an enemy of humankind or its most noble champion. Skilled players could play the rogue, taking missions that suited their fancy, regardless of who they helped or harmed. The world of Sleeping Giants drew inspiration from Renaissance Italy, notably Venice, with its distinctive canals and bridges. The central city in the game would feature notable landmarks of the real Venice. Such as the Doge's Palace and the mysterious cemetery island of San Michel. Now imagine dragons wheeling overhead and magical lamps reflecting off the ice of frozen canals. The frozen Northlands of the game world would also draw from real world references, notably the desolate Siberian steppes, the majesty of St. Petersburg, and the mystery of the Kremlin in Moscow. The cities, towns, and dungeons in the game would be open to freeform exploration and structured in such a way that let the players choose, plan, and execute their own missions, from recovering quest items to destroying towns and dragon nests, from protecting wild creatures to killing rampaging monsters. At first, Majesco supported the project with their resources, but after Advent Rising, Blood Rain 2, and Psychonauts flopped, The publisher abandoned Junction Point and cut off their ambitious and expensive open world RPG. A huge game like Sleeping Giants, still in early development with several years and millions of dollars required to finish, didn't have a chance of surviving Majesco's economic collapse. One publisher they approached was Disney. Warren met with Disney representatives, only to find they weren't interested in Sleeping Giants. Instead, they asked if he was interested in doing a Mickey Mouse game. Most of you probably know what happened next. In July 2007, the Walt Disney Company officially acquired Junction Point Studios, and work began on the Epic Mickey project. Spectre's initial vision for Epic Mickey was different and much darker than what was released in November 2010 as the final Wii game, but that's a story for another time. With the acquisition of Junction Point by Disney, Sleeping Giants was put away to make space for a more popular franchise. 
After releasing Epic Mickey 2, The Power of 2, in March 2012, Disney decided they didn't need Junction Point anymore, and closed the studio down in January 2013. Unfortunately, it seems that this time, Spectre was not able to reacquire the rights for Sleeping Giants, or their other unrealized concepts, and the games were lost forever. You can read more about Sleeping Giants and other cancelled games in the book Video Games You Will Never Play. Check the video description for more details. Unseen 64 is an independent collective of gamers from all around the world. In their archive, they remember cancelled, beta, and unseen video games. Please consider supporting Unseen 64 on Patreon to help keep the site online and to remember even more games that could be forgotten. Thanks for your support.